Oh, you are good. Oh, welcome good. back. Welcome My back. Goodness, welcome back. Good. We have with us Candy Barnes and Margaret Fox. Elshison. Elshison. Is that right? Yeah. It's Margaret Fox Elchison. Elchison. <laughs> All right. But it had her amazing name on there, and I thought, well, I know Margaret. <laughs> I've known Margaret for several years. You guys have a benefit ride, is what I see here. Tell yeah, us about the yeah. benefit ride. Uh, this uh, benefit ride I've uh, been planning for uh, probably a year and a half. And uh, it is to benefit uh, the backpack program, uh, which uh, Margaret is going to talk about. And, and uh, she's more familiar okay. with uh, the ins and outs of how that uh, program works. Uh, I, what is the backpack program? Um, it's weekend meals and backpack. And what we do is we feed children on the weekend. We send food home with them in uh, backpacks. There's, uh -huh. um, the children don't. The other children don't know whether they're get, who's getting what, so yeah. it's very. Is it uh, their backpacks or do it's you? It's their backpacks. Okay. Right. Yes, we just pack. So you the, stuff their backpacks. Did it, did we pack the bags. We pack, okay. and at this point, we're packing approximately 90 to 95 per week. Mm -hmm. um, and several, and the children don't have any food over the weekend if we don't send them food. So they, it's just packed with food. Yes, packed okay. with food, healthy food, okay. uh, nutritious food, and uh, children go home and they have food then that they can eat over the weekend because it, believe it or not here in Baxter County we have um, a lot of uh, poverty and these children would slip through the cracks and would not be fed mm -hmm. and so uh, the United Methodist Women decided to choose that as a mission program uh, for our church and that's how it all got started. It got started last uh, in probably the year 2000 they started out with between seven and ten children. As I just said, it, we now wow. have Over 90, 90 to 95 yeah. children. And it it's costs it? approximately $3.50 to $4.50 per bag. So when you calculate That's that out, big it's, a, it's yeah. very expensive, yes. Mm -hmm. And so we get this all through contributions and, um, you know, people give us things, <laughs> not food, but money we that's right. I mean right. almost everybody's always asking for money mm -hmm. and uh, we're very blessed to have um, uh, so far and, and Candy wonderful we're just so excited that she's doing this benefit for us I mean uh, we're just felt, when she called me I just felt chills go I mean it was so <laughs> excited and such a blessing but you know the Lord works in mysterious ways and he's blessed us with candy and now, I'm are so you excited. associated with their church too or? no, no. Uh, actually not I just um, uh, heard about the program, uh, and uh, they're feeding, uh, you know, almost a hundred kids. But there are several other uh, churches and organizations uh, throughout the county that are also participating in the same program. And uh, uh, we have a total uh, that's approaching 350 uh, students that are receiving uh, food to get them through the weekend, mm. and. Um, I had talked to the superintendent of schools uh, that was uh, Mr. Scriber last year, uh, kind of to determine a need. And he said that the need was tremendous and growing and encouraged me to proceed uh, with my idea mm -hmm. to uh, do some kind of a, of a benefit uh, for this program. Uh, nutrition, uh, children's nutrition has always been really important to me with my own kids. Mm -hmm. uh, their brains are developing. They need adequate nutrition. Uh, these kids, if they're not well fed, they can't think, they can't learn. And unfortunately, they're, they're probably going to repeat the same lifestyle as their parents. Right. Absolutely. Unless we can reach them, um, my feeling is is that not only does the backpack program and these other programs too feed their bodies, but the act of giving to them also feeds their minds yeah. and their hearts. Yeah. Because when people when they when they receive uh, these gifts and they know that somebody cares about them, I think that it's got to make them think while there is somebody that really cares about me and mm -hmm. maybe make mm -hmm. them feel differently about their lives. Mm -hmm. And make mm -hmm. them understand the importance of giving to someone else. The importance mm -hmm. of, of, of giving yeah. and, uh, and contributing right. to right. those in need. That's Margaret stressed that those, you put healthy snacks yes, in we do. there. Yes. Because sometimes kids, there might be food or health, it's like a bag of Cheetos and a cup of Coke. Correct, yes. So, we, so we're also teaching here with this program healthy lifestyles. Right. And right. Mm -hmm. Healthy choices. Right. Something that they, they may take on into adulthood mm -hmm. and then Absolutely. teach their children. Yes. Also. Pro, you know, we serve, serve, make sure they have proteins, fruits, 
and, uh, and milk products. So oh, wow. uh, that are, and that we don't ever give them junk food. Okay, okay. it's always been nutritious. We work with the North Arkansas Food Bank and getting our food, which has really been a blessing because we are able to get a lot more for our money than yeah. than what we used yeah. to go. Since I've been with the program, we would go to Sam's Club and people mm -hmm. would buy it and then, you know, come back and we get a check written for that. But mm -hmm. it's so much, we get so much more for our money with the North Arkansas Food Bank. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's uh, been a wonderful thing that's happened mm -hmm. this, this year, this past year. Now, do you pack the backpacks there at church and yes, take we do. them over? Okay. I have approximately 32 volunteers. That's really my side of this uh, equation. Uh -huh. um, and I organize the, the volunteers and make certain that we have three people and they, I give them each one month to do this work. <laughs> and then we have so many that we don't have to, you know, it's not a burden for anyone. So mm -hmm. it's a month and uh, they all know that they're to work and they do it and they mm -hmm. deliver the food over to um, Nelson Wilkes Heron School mm -hmm. uh, for the first, second, and third graders. Mm -hmm. And uh, so yep. it's just, it's great. Yeah, it <laughs> I is. love it. Now, your idea of the benefit ride? Mm -hmm was a, a direct result of trying to come up with some money to help this program. Yes, to help this program. Um, I uh, have been uh, doing uh, car shows and I learned a lot from the from the car show folks. Uh, I uh, uh, work out of the uh, Century 21 Lemac Realty East uh, location and it's a perfect location for car shows and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I got into that and um, uh, you know, I had a lot of people uh, that have uh, motorcycles that ask me, "Well, gosh, you're doing all this stuff for the uh, for the cars. What about what about the bikes?" Well, you know how sometimes you have an aha moment in oh, the middle yes, of the yeah. night. Well, I woke up one in the middle of the night and said, "You know what? I can put this all together. I can use uh, the experience that I've gained. Uh, you know, with this uh, networking, uh, mm -hmm. I can mm -hmm. use that. I can uh, feed, uh, generate uh, funds to help feed these kids, and I can get the bikes out there in the parking lot, and we can have a good time. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just uh, a win-win thing for everybody." Well, it says a ride. Where are they going to ride? We're, we are going to uh, meet up at the Century 21 office, you know, Century 21 East, um, mm -hmm. and we're going to have uh, a police escort. Uh, the ride uh, starts at 11 o'clock, sign up from uh, 9 to 11. Uh, the uh, Mountain Hope and Home Police Department is going to do a uh, sirens and police officer escort through town all the way down Highway 62. You'll see us. Yeah. And then we're going to go south on the bypass um, down to Calico Rocks for, through wow. some very yeah. uh, scenic country. Uh, and we'll, uh, you know, make our way back uh, to Mountain Home. And uh, when we get back, First Security Bank, who is uh, one of our sponsors, is going to provide uh, food and, uh, and cold drinks uh, for everybody. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a, a, great, uh, a great way to spend the day. Um, it's, but it says ten dollars per bike, so is that where the majority the, of the money is going to come from? There'll be the donations, ten, be accepted, donations. I'm sure, but the, you know, you don't have to ride to donate to mm -hmm. this program. Uh, people can show up and just listen to the thunder and see the bikes and yeah. and give us a donation mm -hmm. and we'll and, and stay for lunch. Uh, the bike, uh, the donation per bike, ten dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, that will go one hundred percent to the program. Good. Uh, everybody is working for free. Uh, everybody is donating their time, uh, so all of the money will go to the program. Mm -hmm. It says you're going to have DJ Peace mm -hmm. down We're there. We're going to have music. Bob Van Heron. Bob Van Heron. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a DJ set up, uh, so we're going to have music. Um, food. Food, music, motorcycles, hopefully uh, hopefully ride. sunshine. Uh, I, I, my husband bought me a motorcycle. And, Oh my gosh. I, I ride on his. <laughs> he bought this bike and said I, I, I needed to learn how to ride and and so far I haven't had the guts. <laughs> well, maybe this is a perfect opportunity for you to get out there and ride. Did you mention that, that the date? Did you mention yeah. the date, Sandy? Yes. Okay, I wasn't sure. July 24th. July 24th. Saturday, mm -hmm. uh, the same Saturday is, is the uh, drop off that yeah. uh, Sheriff Montgomery talks about. Mm -hmm. So sign up begins nine o'clock. The ride starts at eleven, and when yes. everybody congregates back mm -hmm. out at the the realty office, yes. to be free food and free drink for food everybody and, and, and drinks. We're going to have door prizes. Uh -huh. We're going to have uh, some raffles uh, for some items that are being donated. We have a lot of people in the community that are really backing us on this. Yeah. 